To draw circles on an isometric drawing, we need a special tool. Today we're going to talk about isometric circle templates. So when you're drawing in two dimensions, you can use your compass to draw circles, or when you're in school, you may have used a circle template. Well now, since in isometrics everything's at 30 degrees, those tools don't quite work. So today we're going to introduce this isometric circle template that is in your pizza box. This is a lap joint down here on the drawing board. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to draw a one inch hole drilled through the top face right here. And then a half inch hole drilled through on the front face. So half inch on the front, one inch from the top, and both of those are going to be centered on those sections. So the first thing that I want to do is draw some center lines. And I'm going to start with this top hole. So I'm going to measure it. It's two and a quarter, so I'm going to make a mark at one and an eighth. I think it's two, two and an eighth. Okay, so one and a sixteenth. And I'm just going to make those center lines. You need center lines to draw with the isometric circle template. So I'm going to make them very, very light. Oh no, I made my measurement so light I can't even see it. Two and an eight. There we go. I'm gonna darken those lines so you can see them. I would normally leave them very, very light, but just to ensure that you can see them in the camera, I'll darken them up. So now I have my guidelines. These are my center lines. If we're looking directly at the top from like an orthographic view, we could use our circle templates or our compasses to draw that circle, but we can't here. This is our isometric circle template. And you can see isometric ellipses. Just like the circle template, I'm going to find the size that I need, one inch. And on it, you'll see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There shouldn't be seven holes, there should be eight holes. Yeah, there are eight holes, I just didn't count them. Um, around that circle. On a normal circle template, Remember there are four lines, one, two, three, four, and then you line those lines up with your center lines and then you can draw that circle. And it's the same thing here, except we have vertical and we have angled ones. So what I'm going to do is line up these holes with my center lines. I'm going to line up the ones at 30 degrees off in the upper left, upper right, bottom left, and bottom right. Make sure that those are lined up with that. And then just like a normal standard circle template, I can trace that. I'm gonna just grab a darker pencil right off the bat. Don't want that to move on me. And there we go. That's it. I can see all the way through that. Perfect. What's next? Next I want to drill a half inch hole in the front face over here. And again, first I need to find center lines. This first one should be easy. Let me just double check. It's five eighths. Another five eighths. Use my three eighths pencil. I'm going to extend that. Keep forgetting that you guys are in the camera, so it's hard to see. And then here, two and a quarter, which means center point is at one and an eighth. That is going to be a vertical line. Now you might start to see that, well, before we're using 30 degree lines in opposite directions as our center lines. Now we have a vertical line and a 30 degree line. Now, where's my half inch? Half inch is over here on the right. This is how I set it up 
for my one inch hole. I cannot just transfer this over with my smaller size to these center points and draw it. That won't be correct. Now that we're looking at a circle from an angle, we have to look at it from a different angle. So what I need to do is rotate it to there. Whoa, whoa, yes. We can use the same circle to draw front, top, and right side views, to draw holes in those views. But for top views, we hold this straight up and down. For front views, we rotate it one way, and for right side, we rotate it the other way. Pretty wild. That would be a circle on the right side. This is a circle on the front. So again, I'm just gonna line it up with those lines. Those lines fall into the small holes on my template. Oh no. Make sure you hold your template down like I just didn't do. I'm gonna fix that. Line it up, hold it down. And there we go. That is a half inch hole drilled in the front. This is a one inch hole drilled in the top. Now all I would need to do is clean that up. Ask me if you have any questions. Email me your rough drafts before you submit them. Have a great day.